Hello fellow Vikings, welcome back to a new episode in our Archer Permadeath Hardcore series. This is a rather special episode, so I'm gonna be quick about it. We're gonna have our world settings on the screen, our stats on the screen, and what I wanted to do in this episode, because it, it would have been impossible for me to put this uh, on YouTube, it was like 6 hours of footage, I'm gonna keep it super short and show you only beats of pieces of my base moving. So first things first, obviously what I wanted to do is grab all the wood that I have farmed, all the resources, load them up on cards, <laughs> as you can see here, and then transport them to the new destination, which is the base um, we dug underneath the Elder Altar. It will be a raid-proof base, so uh, I really wanted to move this entire base there and it was a tremendous effort. Note that this is only the first and the last time in my Valheim experience that I will ever do something like this. It was insane. Thinking back, um, I don't know if I should have done it or not. Maybe start over at the Elder. But uh, obviously I felt like this was a bit faster. So I went for this option. And the raids started coming when I started to tear down the top of the base. The top of the walls, sorry. Obviously, then I grabbed all the wood from uh, from the wall structure, you know, the little structure that we had on the walls. Crafting a small little hut here, just with a workbench and a forge, so we can repair our, our items while I dismantle the other base. Now, I had a, a bit of a problem here with the cards, because <laughs> I tried to climb them up like this on a ramp, on a boat. I wanted to go with six cards and the storage from the boat all at once and yeah, this didn't work. This was, was one of those bad ideas. <laughs> Almost got stuck there. So yeah, that was a no-go. But I eventually managed to uh, find a solution here, so... Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> this is not the solution I was talking about. Yeah, this is... I could have been stuck here forever. Imagine a raid starting right now. That was a bit dangerous, so uh, what I decided to do is, you know, load empty carts on the boat and then uh, fill them up with resources. What I didn't know, of course, another event, what I didn't know is if I load all the resources <laughs> on the ship and leave them over there uh, by overnight, leave them on the boat overnight, uh, weird things will happen and you will see soon what I'm talking about. So, uh, there's... <laughs> There's the car, they were all buggy, I had to destroy them, and then I had a lot of boxes on the ship, and I went for the boxes idea, someone suggested that I should keep the boxes on the ship. But I was afraid that these will fall during a thunderstorm on the sea, so eventually I gave up that idea too. We've got a ton of raids, now the horde is attacking, and I figured out, you know what, this is a great way to get, uh, <laughs> just stay in base and clear the raids. A great way to get, um, you know, the ore they drop, the black metal ore, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so just stay here and farm them casually and everything should be fine. So this is the glitch I was talking about, look at that, look at that, oh my goodness, what's happening? <laughs> so then I came up with another idea and that is have all the cards here and just transfer the goods when I have them all prepared. And this was another tremendous feat taking all the wood, all the resources, but since I had, yeah, so now we stirred the cauldron. Like I said, events are just flowing, and because I had large windows in the house, this happened. <laughs> Got surrounded by bats. Thankfully, they don't deal that much damage. So, yeah. Like I said, a ton of cards for the moving process, but given that I had a lot of items already gathered, it, was, it, it felt like a shame to leave them behind, so <laughs> I just decided to Though this hard, hard, hard and punishing labor of moving everything to the new base. I'm not even gonna bother you with uh, all, all the events. It was one after the other. Luckily we get, got rid of um, the Drake's event and the Wolf event. So the Wolf event only spawns on the mountain or in the plains. Which is the next biome ahead of us. So I'm looking forward to have wolves on the plains. And I'm sure I'm gonna die on the plains, so foreshadowing. I haven't played yet in the planes, but um, I just know it. Like, wolves on the planes. If I have no high place to run away from them, I'm, I'm over. 
since they have 50% increased speed. Now, uh, this is this is rather unusual. A bunch of skeletons trying to take down my dogs. Uh, the event started right here, so I was afraid to leave because they would have went for the carts and the boat. And honestly, if they destroy the carts, some of the goods that are in the cart get lost. So they're lost forever, for good. If you have goods loaded up in the cart and an, an enemy destroys the cart, then you're gonna lose the contents, or oh, part of the contents from that cart. It was something that I learned the hard way, so yeah. Finally, it was time to sail. I have never done this in my entire four years of Valheim experience, and I can tell you this was extremely slow. This was full sail on the longship, and I'm moving super slow. <laughs> yeah, eventually we, we found the Elder Island, so now comes another great process of moving the items from the ship onto into this base. Now, I had no entrance to this base, so what I wanted to do, first things first, is create an entrance point, right? So then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna just dig a moat here, a hole in the ground, and figure things out from there. Unfortunately, another event started, <laughs> and it was time to, to start uh, to check the new base, to see how, ouchies, <laughs> how safe is against raids, but unfortunately, Fortunately, just a small hole there at the entrance saved me from the bats. But like I said, it don't deal that much damage. I also wanted to create a wall at the entrance because I want to be safe. From, I want to keep the rest of the base safe from uh, range attacks like the shamans or archers, so they don't destroy structures. It will be hard enough to face uh, <laughs> the, the gyals and uh, the seekers, and of course your usual events. Now this with the fall uh, smell from the swamp is just blobs. So they're not that much of a formidable enemy. Back to the boat comes the hard labor of taking all the resources from the boat into the base. And obviously this took me quite a lot of time. Like I said, this was this is six hours of footage <laughs> into a rather short, I don't know, 15 minutes video. So yeah, you get the point. Now, trolls or whatnot, I think I had over 15 events. I didn't even uh, place them all here. So, uh, yeah, back, back home. Now that everything is into the base in carts, I decided to go back home, prepare the boat, and this was actually a cool shot. <laughs> Take the rest of our resources, but first things first, Let's just tear down every single wood structure that we have, because I was not gonna grind wood anymore. Since I had all this wood here, I decided to just, you know, tear it down and bring it back with me. This is the sad part where I'm destroying the former base, and I felt super bad doing this. But yeah, it, it was a necessary evil had to be done. This is the entire place cleared out, no base, the base is loaded up in carts. And we're just transporting it now back to our longship. Same system, loading up empty carts and then moving all the items at once into those carts and then start sailing. Otherwise they will, they will get buggy. So look at this speed. This is, um, yeah, we don't have the wind here and I had to go for half an hour with this speed. It is like going with the raft. So it wasn't a really pleasant experience. Back at the other base, it was 120th day, so that was an interesting feat. Your your seat will <laughs> will be around uh, 10 more days. Took me another 10 more days to transport everything and get it back to the base. This is how it looks. This is the last card. We have a ton of cards full with goodies from the other boat. <laughs> this is the main square full of cards. Like I said, as you can see here. It was, it was a nice image. All that hard work finally paid off. Since we are playing with no portals, no map, this was, this was a huge achievement for me, at least. Starting to work, uh, I was getting low on the food, so <laughs> starting to get back those calories while we're having events outside. I was also running out of boar meat, like running out meaning I had none. So <laughs> I went and uh, started farming some boar. 
And then I started working on the inside. Now I wanted to have as simple as a simple base as possible. So just working on the storage here. As you can see, this will be the storage unit. Nothing fancy, just chests here placed here and there. Luckily we had all that wood farmed and brought back from the base. So it was an easy, easy work here, nothing fancy, just renaming. You know, I like to keep things organized, so renaming every single chest. Then comes the hard part, from moving all the items, again, from the cards, into the base, into the chests. After I've done that, and it was finished, I felt like I needed a break, so I decided to sail back to the base and grab all the rest of the wood that I would left it, uh, that I... Uh, it was left there in some chests and in some carts. Arriving back at the base, I got surprised here, like really scared. Uh, there was a shaman, a great dwarf shaman right here. Fortunately, we have a ton of armor, so he didn't do that much damage. But I was really scared because he was actually waiting behind my house, my, my little outpost there, my little hut. So yeah, I got a nice spook early in the morning. Same process, loading the carts, taking them back to the ship. This is, I think this is the third and the last time that I'm doing this. I was super sick of doing this. As you can see, the long ship is tilted, and the front of the ship is tilted into the water, just because it has a tremendous amount of weight. I also brought back the stone too. Not only the ingots, so the stone, everything. I was like, I'm not gonna farm anything since I had all those resources. It was just, I just, I'm just gonna transfer them back and figure things out at the new base, like I said. But as you can see, the carts go berserk in the, on board of the ship. This is another dangerous situation. If a raid starts when I'm encumbered, I could be in trouble. So this is what I usually did. Grab everything, transport it back to the carts, like I said. And then moving the car taking it back to the base every single one of them i had like six carts every single time the last transport was four carts i think but other than that it took me an amount tremendous amount of time to move the entire base so i suggest you find a good spot for a permanent base and stick to that one and not do what i just did in here i started to place some items like the forge the smelters the uh kiln, the charcoal kiln, and then the bed so I can rest some, um, you know, all the usual furniture to get the rest of buff. And then I wanted to work on the entrance, make a super safe entrance. So I had no idea what I was gonna do here, so I just narrowed down the entrance, and then I thought, you know what, we can do this. Place a lot of stone here, and have a small gap where we can come through, just us, so no monsters can get inside. And I can snipe them in case they get in, or the Seekers or something like that get in, I can snipe them from inside the base. So we just did that. Then I had a brilliant idea to move the entire uh, kilns and the entire <laughs> uh, smelters outside, because I thought, you know what, I don't have enough room in here. Since I had no levels underneath, I wanted to keep things simple. Reinforcing the wall, the outer wall here, from our Elder fight, which was few episodes ago and one of you suggested in the comments that I should hunt serpents now given that I saw that there's a thunderstorm outside I figured out you know what I might get lucky and lucky I got because behold there is a serpent here since I was getting low on the serpent meat I got this one and I was super happy to you know grab all that delicious serpent meat since I've been sleeping on the serpent meat which is super useful for that 80 health that you get and taking it back to the base over here we're just doing some casual farming i decided i need more onions so <laughs> i started planting them on a small patch of land you know your usual stuff farming boar for extra meat in here back to that was actually a lucky thing i have a patch of meadows i have a patch of plains on the small island and here i just wanted to fiddle with a drogger village that i stumbled upon just cleared it up because I was worried that these guys might actually get all the boars, all the necks from the meadows. Back to the base. This is how the base looks from the outside. Looks like a some sort of a fortress. So it doesn't seem like anything could get in. 
But you know, I can get in like this and it's super, super easy and super fun. <laughs> also, I have another entrance. Back in here, this is how I get in through this small little gap. If I can, you know, fit. Well, there we go. <laughs> and that's that. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I spent another night here looking for another serpent, but it was a total failure. So thank you all so much for watching and uh, hopefully with the new base and things will go uh, only good from here forth. But dou I doubt it because we, are, we have the planes ahead of us and we have your being haunted event on the planes. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you all so much for your support. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.